Francisco community groups are trying to get the word out about a critical tool that could take away a roadblock to reporting crimes against the Asian community. It's a hotline that's offering Cantonese and Mandarin speakers a way to get information about crimes to the police in their own language. NBC Barry's Christy Smith has more. In Chinatown, there are now signs like these showing up more frequently. They advertise an anonymous tip line to reach police. We work to distribute over 25,000 of these flyers, uh, informational flyers and cards. Alan Wong is with the Asian Pacific Islander American Public Affairs Association. He joined other leaders today in promoting it. 415 558 Five, five, eight, eight. We think that language access is very important to the Chinese community and this is a way of making sure that we close that gap in, in communication as there are rising a uh, number of uh, uh, hate crimes and other crimes against the uh, Asian community. In an emergency, people still need to call 911. It's not a substitute, but if people have information about a crime, they can certainly use it to share what they know. I'm not a single case yeah, in, the, in this city. I'm sure a lot of people is facing the same problem. So um, if everyone can stand out to report the case, I think it will help. Derek Tam is speaking up. He did call police in late March after he was working as a vendor at a pop-up at the ferry building when a man tried to take his phone. He's become really furish and angry. He just punched my face. He, he, he brushed my left cheek. Um, and then say, get back to your F country. Tam's shop, Dragon Papa in Chinatown, is temporarily closed. He was stunned this happened, but says people did try to help him. I always hear this kind of like the attack case yeah, in some Chinese media, but I have never thinks it will happen on me. He thinks it's good for the community to have more options in reaching out to police. He also thinks more needs to be done. In San Francisco, Christy Smith, NBC Bay Area News.